welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what I have for my kids Halloween baskets. Now because my kids are only small, the two and three, I don't tend to take them out trick or treating. Um, also I don't tend to take them because we've only just moved and we don't really know any of the neighbours. So what I tend to do is give them Halloween baskets with treats in for them and then we do like a, we're going to do like a little Halloween treasure hunt in the garden if it's not raining and if it is we're going to do it in the house. Um, so that is why I get my kids uh, Halloween baskets because we don't go trick or treating and this is their little treat and I've not spent very much on them, I literally got everything from Home Bargains or Asda, I don't think anything was more than a pound, no, um, yeah one item was two pound, everything else was less than a pound so really cheap. The buckets are what we had last year. Uh, these are Halloween buckets, we used these last year, we're just going to use them again every year until they're broken uh, because there's no point buying new ones every year. So these baskets I believe I got from Asda last year for about 69p a pound, something like that. Uh, we've got the same sort of things in again this year, I know they're in Home Bargains for 69p, uh, practically because they're the same, so you can pick those up at Home Bargains for 69p. So anyway, I'll show you what I've got in the baskets. Um, They've pretty much got the same thing, they're just like slightly different, um, very slightly different. So so I'll go through Leo's first. Um, Leo is my little boy, he is two years old, so everything in here is suitable for a two year old. Um, so the first thing I got him, which I actually need to get Alice something like this because she hasn't got one. Uh, I didn't get her the exact same one because I thought I'll look and see if I can get one a little bit different. Um, but it's one of these um, spiders. This was 99p from Home Bargains. Leo loves creepy crawly things like this. He's got a couple of um, like bugs, giant bugs, and he absolutely loves them. He plays them all the time. So I thought he'd really like this. And Alice loves things like this as well. But I didn't want to get the same one, but I've not been able to find any others. So I think I'm just going to have to go back and get her the same one. Um, but yeah, they're really, they're really like this. This says age 3 plus. I think probably because they think these might poke them in the eye or something, but Leo will be perfectly fine playing with this. I'm sorry if you can hear a load of rain in the background. It's just started to absolutely chuck it down outside. It's like a monsoon, so sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. But anyway, that is the first thing in Leo's basket. The second thing is this little um, pumpkin painting kit. So it's just like a little stack of pumpkins. And it comes with some paint and you can make like a little uh, decoration, hang it up. The kids love doing these little painting kits and this was only a pound from Asda. So again, great value. And then also we got him this little cup. We got cups last year and he used them so much. But Alice dropped hers and smashed it. And I'm not sure if Leo's is broken as well. I think the seal from the top might have gone on his. If you can see they've got these plastic seals in them and I think the seal on his went missing. Um, so yeah, I got them a new one. Oh no, that will broke the seal on this one. Uh, so these are only a pound from Asda, so again like really cheap. And I will absolutely love these because they love the last ones. So yeah, this one has got Frankenstein on, it's got a little cat and some little ghosts and some spiders. So I'm sure Leo will love that. Then I also picked up from Asda this little pumpkin spinner. My kids love these things and I thought this will look really nice in the garden when it's dark outside and they'll probably really love those. And that was £2. Again, I think this is free plus, but I'll be watching him and he's had ones before. What I tend to do for him is cut off the string and then it's it's fine for him to have. Then I also picked him up this little activity book. This was from Home Bargains. It was 69p. It says the recommended retail price is 4.99. Uh, so I think 69p is really good. So in here there's lots of little activities. So let's have a look. So there's like, there's like little games to play, things to colour in. 
So Leo probably is a bit young for some of these. Uh, but they love colouring in the pictures and they've got sticker sheet and they've got masks to colour in and make so they love doing that. So this one's got a cat mask and a superhero mask and then it's got stickers and things in it as well. So that one is Leo's and then the rest of the things in the little basket are just some chocolates so that I picked up these chocolate coin nets these were 79p from home bargains they've just got different chocolates in see so that one's got a spider you've got the witch and i bought pumpkin all sorts of little halloween coins and then i also picked them up this little net so this has got little halloween characters so we've got a ghost you've got a vampire pumpkin frankenstein so that was 59p and then my kids absolutely love these chocolate lollies from home bargains they absolutely love these uh, they've already eaten um two of these i've had to replace them because they really really love them leo loves this ghost one that's his favorite um and these were 69 pence each from home bargains so again really good prices so like I said, I haven't really spent that much on the Halloween baskets. It's really, really cheap and it's just a nice little thing for young kids who maybe aren't old enough to go trick-or-treating or if you don't have anyone in your area that does trick-or-treating, then it's a nice little thing for the kids to do. And like I said, it didn't really cost very much. Like The baskets are like 69p, the books 69p, pounds for the cup. 79p for that one, 59p, these two are 69p, a pound, a pound and two pounds. So probably spent under £10 on the baskets, which I think is uh, really good. So that's Leo's basket. And I'll just quickly show you Alice's because it is pretty much the same. So this is her activity book for hers. is got a different cover than, than Leo's, so they've got different ones. Um, I think they did only do two in Home Bargains. Uh, so in hers. So hers has got different activities in than Leo's. And I think this one's got some masks in as well. So this one's got a pirate mask to make. And what else have we got? And it's also got a superhero mask to make in this one. I think this one's a boy superhero and the one in the other one's a girl superhero. I think this one's also got different stickers as well. Yeah, that one's got different stickers in as well. So at least we've got different things in there. That's Alice's book. And then instead of a pumpkin one, Alice has got a ghost um, light up spinner. So she's got that. Again, £2 from Asda. She has this cup so this one's just got a witch on with a cauldron and a broomstick and this one's got a green top again a pound from Asda and then the other things she's got are the same as Leo so she's got the um, paint your own pumpkin she's got the two chocolate lollies and she's got these chocolates so like I said I do need to get her one of these spiders and then they've got the exact same things more or less so after I filmed this video, I actually popped into Home Bargains and found these for their baskets as well. So I've just picked them up a protector torch, a projector torch, and it comes with a, ha a pumpkin, spider, bat, ghost, and skull projector. I thought the kids would really love that out in the garden. I thought it'd be fun for them to do. And I both picked them both up a little bath bomb each. Uh, so the projectors were 69p and the bath bombs were also 69p. I thought those were your good little items to put in their baskets. And then for Alice's um, basket, I picked her up this bath bomb. Leo had that little spider and I couldn't find her something similar. So I got her this little bath bomb. It comes with a little surprise inside. So you get a little squishy pumpkin or ghost or a Frankenstein or a little squishy cat. So you can get one of those inside. So I thought she'd really like that and I think that was £1.49 something like that. So that's everything I got 
the Halloween basket. I hope this has given you some good ideas of what you can get for your kids for their Halloween baskets. Like I said, I do think it's a good idea to do when you've got young children who, like I said, you might not want to take um, trick or treating um, so that they've got little treats and they don't need to go out. But yeah, I know my kids are gonna love these because Alice, I don't know why, she's totally obsessed with Halloween. I don't know where it's came from. It's from last year. She just became totally obsessed with Halloween. She's always asked me when's Halloween. So I know she's going to absolutely love it on Halloween. Um, we're going to decorate the house. I've ordered a few decorations and balloons and things. And I'm going to make some decorations for the house. So hopefully it'll be really good. And it's the first Halloween in our new house. We've got a garden this year. So I'm really hoping it doesn't rain probably will but I'm hoping it doesn't rain I can decorate the garden a little bit and we can do a little treasure hunt outside I think it'll be really really fun I've bought face paints this year so I thought me and Lauren's can maybe um, paint our faces because I don't think we've got any costumes I thought well actually Lauren's did have a costume but he might have thrown it away he had like a scarecrow one none of mine fit me I used to have costumes um but yeah I just thought this would be really really fun for them and I'm going to give these this to them in the morning and then in the morning of Halloween, we're going to do like some Halloween crafts and things. We can have some baskets, maybe have a bit of chocolate. And then uh, in the afternoon, we're going to do like our little party and do some party games and things. So yeah, I just think these are really cute to give them. And I know Alice will get really excited when she sees it, which would be really nice. So I am hoping to maybe vlog our Halloween day. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when that vlog goes up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little bit. If you have, then please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.